So number three then, from paper one of the 2023 Advanced Site Maths, three mark question for Gaussian elimination. You've got this system of equations, three equations and three variables. You have to use Gaussian elimination to determine whether this system shows redundancy, inconsistency, or has a unique solution. So even if it's got a unique solution, you're not required to find it. You're just meant to know whether or not you can do that. Well, first step is put in the matrix of coefficients here. Negative 3, 1, 3, negative 2, 4, 1, 4, 2, and augment it with the solutions. Negative 1, 11, 15, right? Now, transform it. Start getting these two down to zeros. So leave that alone. They're nice and handy anyway, start with that one. This row, row two, knock it out by doing minus three lots of row one. So that'll be zero. And then you've got negative two plus nine is seven. Four take away three is one. 11 plus three is 14. That'll be row three, take away just row one would do it. One take away one, zero. Four, two, oh, that's got us up to seven. That's very handy for the next stage. And you've got two take away one is one. That's not so good. Well, it's actually quite good because it means you don't need to go any further. All comes down to this number now, cliffhanger. If that's a 14, you've got a redundancy because you've only got two. If that's not a 14, you've got inconsistency because you can't have the same calculations given different answers. 15, 16, that's it. You've got an inconsistency. I, can pass it. I think you have to finish it off, don't you? I don't, think, I don't think you're allowed just to make that statement. So leave them alone. 0, 7, 1, 14. So if we go ahead with this, which would be row 3, take away row 2. Obviously it's 0, 0, 0, and that's a negative 2. It's a positive 2. And at that point, you can see you can't get 0 times something is 2. Well, I'll make the statement here. 0 times z cannot equal 2, which means that the system is inconsistent. Number four then, for three marks, use integration by parts to carry out this integration. Well, that just means deciding which one you're going to differentiate, which one you're going to integrate. Well, normally you go for that, but that's got too high a power to do that. And you don't want to be integrating that one. So I'll integrate that, differentiate that. So integrate first. So integrating that would be up to 5, divide by 5. Leave that alone, ln x, minus, carry that through in its entirety. And the handy thing is when you differentiate that, it just becomes 1 over x. Now you could just write your answer straight down from that, because you can just do all that quite simply in your head. But I'll tidy it up. 1 fifth of x to the 5 ln x minus 1 fifth of, and that's just going to be x to the 4 dx. So you've got 1 fifth of x to the 5 ln x up to 5 divided by 5. So it's down to 25, or 25th, I mean, of x to the 5 plus c, which I suppose would do for the answer. Or you can say, oh, there's a few replications there. You could take out x to the 5, you could take out a 25th. So you could take out x to the 5 over 25, but it didn't say simplify, so you don't need to do that. That means I would need to leave 5 in there. Now you've got another option, you could pop that 5 in as a power. But that'll just be minus 1. I suspect that that's the line they want, but I'm going to go to here. 